Hello to you, this is Edwin Dearborn, another edition of Caffeinated Content. This is an early edition of Caffeinated Content, and this is where we talk about great business ideas over a hot cup of coffee, and I'm at one of my favorite places, Sunrise Coffee, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, a conversation yesterday with a prospect led me to a saying that I'm gonna say a lot, small sales, is caused by even smaller marketing. Now, I don't care how you define marketing, you know, but marketing really is the conceiving of something, the packaging of it, the promotion of it, and then moving it into the marketplace. Now, the way you do that may be through video, outbound sales calls, uh, salespeople reps knocking on doors, Facebook ads, video ads, conferences, whatever it is you do, if you have small sales, you're not doing enough of that marketing. And it was, it's almost humorous sometimes to try to point this out to salespeople who are suffering from sales and get them to connect the dots or cause an effect. And I'll give you an example. I'm talking to this financial professional in Dallas and I'm trying to sell her some marketing services and I'm telling her the, the least expensive package I have. Oh, it's too expensive. So I asked her, I said, well, how many sales do you have this month as a salesperson? I have no sales, okay? Zero, she has sold nothing. I go, do you have anything in the pipeline, anything on the horizon that you're about to sell? No. So not only has she closed nothing for the entire month of April, she's got nothing lined up for the entire month of May. And, and she's saying that the marketing is too expensive. And I'm saying what's expensive is the amount of money you're not making. It's the lost income. It's the unrealized commissions because you won't take some of your commissions from the past and actually reinvest it into your sales. Now, this formula will work out for any business. Small sales is caused by even smaller marketing. That's just an axiom that we can develop a strategy around so what becomes the answer what becomes the proactivity that we can instigate the proactivity is writing a program and going okay what are the channels that have worked how can we expand those channels what channels are working for your competitors what are proven sales methods that people within your industry or within your niche are exercising how can we deploy that with existing resources so if you are yourself experiencing low sales or inadequate sales, then the corollary, the matching data would be that your marketing or your promotion is inadequate. It's not enough. So survival is dependent upon the proper estimation of effort in business. So if you're not promoting enough, you're not gonna have enough sales. I know this sounds almost too simplistic. It's one of those, well, of course, Edwin, that's how it is. But having the data in your mind and having the data in practice, actually financing and executing, that's where, that's the brilliance. One of my favorite authors, Neil Patel, said something very, very, uh, interesting and it really impinged on me and I've used this example in presentations multiple times he says you get one point for a really good idea you get nine points for writing a written plan for your really good idea you get 90 points for executing the written plan for your really good idea see in the scheme of things you're really good your really good ideas are only 1% of success the next step is taking that really good idea, writing an actual written strategy, and then 90% of that success is seeing to the execution through yourself and through your team members or your partnerships to actually make that plan occur. Only then is the idea realized. In marketing, people have some good ideas, and rarely do I find a written plan, and even more rare do I find them executing particularly with modern technology, new tools, video, social media advertising, they're just not using it at all. And then they claim it's expensive. When really, the expensive, 
The big expensive is the money they're not seeing. That's expensive. The tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars they're not making, that's expensive. That's, that's, that's the unrealized revenue due to the small think, the small planning, the small marketing. If you would like to work with me, I, I, I write written marketing plans, I insist on written marketing plans, we come up with bright ideas, big ideas based on existing resources on how to leverage and navigate today's technology for your brand, but content out there, attract attention, as well as build brand loyalty and powerful relationships that turn into actual new customers and revenue. All right, this is Edwin Dearborn, author of Power Branding Secrets. I hope you got some value out of today. If you did, like this video, share this video. All right, have a great day, bye-bye.